Hi, Salman Mahajan here with Cisco Attack VPN team. In this video, I want to show you how to configure modern TLS and DTLS cipher suites for RA VPN on FTT version 7.4. Modern cipher suites address the security challenges posed by ever advancing cryptographic attacks. They provide stronger security, good performance, and are the best standards that can be implemented today. Let's get started. First, Navigate to Devices, Platform Settings. Here, you can either create a new policy or edit an existing one. In this case, we will create a new policy and assign the FTD device to the policy. Next, navigate to the SSL tab to access the TLS and DTLS configuration. From here, you can change both TLS and DTLS versions along with Diffie-Hellman and elliptical curve Diffie-Hellman group values to meet your security needs. For this demonstration, we will leave these settings at their default values. Click the Add button to create a custom cipher suite list for TLS and DTLS version. You can either create a custom list or select from various predefined levels of supported cipher suites as per your security requirements. Since our goal is to configure modern DLS and DTLS cipher suites, we will select high security level, which includes predefined secure cipher suites. Repeat the same process for DTLS also. If you are running FTD 7.2 or higher, it will also support TLS version 1.3. You do not need to create a custom cipher suite list for TLS version 1.3 as all the available cipher suites in it are considered secure. Once you have configured the cipher suites, save the configuration and deploy the changes to the FTD. These changes can be applied while users are connected. The TLS and DTLS cipher suites are negotiated only at the beginning of secure client session. If users are already connected and you want to make a change, existing connections will not be affected. New connections to the secure firewall will use the newly configured secure cipher suites. After the FMC has deployed the configuration to the FTD, Verify that ciphers have been correctly applied by accessing the FTD CLI. Open a terminal or console session to the device and run the following show commands to check the output. Now, connect secure client to the FTD and revive the output from FTD CLI. To verify ciphers exchanged, run the following show command. That is it for today. If you see any problems, please open a case for further assistance. Thank you for watching.